Unraveling the Mystery of Marina Slip. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that might tickle the fancy of boat enthusiasts and English learners alike. Marina Slip. Whether you're a seasoned sailor or someone just dipping your toes in the nautical world, understanding this term is key to navigating the conversations around marinas and boating. So, let's set sail into the linguistic waters and find out what marina slip means in both a literal and cultural sense. Before we delve into what a marina slip is, let's first understand what we mean by marina. A marina is a specialized harbor with docks and facilities for boats and yachts. It's a place where boats can be kept in the water while not in use, with various services available for boaters such as fuel, electricity, and fresh water. It's like a parking lot for boats, but much more picturesque. Now, on to the word, slip. In the context of a marina, a slip is not something you accidentally do on a wet floor. Rather, it refers to the specific water space allocated for docking a single boat. Think of it as a boat's personal parking spot in the water. It's lined on either side by a pier, floating dock, or pilings to which the boat can be secured when it's not cruising the waves. Understanding the term, marina slip, is crucial if you're involved in boating or if you're learning English for travel and tourism. It's a term that you'll often encounter in travel guides, adventure stories, or when talking to marina staff. Knowing this word helps you to communicate effectively in specific situations, especially if you're planning to rent a spot for a boat or are interested in marine activities. Let's put our new term into action. When using marina slip in a sentence, you could say, we docked our boat in the marina slip after a day of sailing. I need to rent a marina slip for the summer. The marina slip fees vary depending on the size of the boat. By using the term in various contexts, you get comfortable with its application and can enhance your English language fluency in a fun and practical way. I hope this video has helped clear up any confusion about what a marina slip is and how you can use this phrase like a native speaker. Remember, learning English can be as enjoyable as a day out on the water, especially when you learn words that open up new worlds of conversation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep practicing, and you'll be navigating through English with the ease of a sailor in no time. Safe travels and happy learning!